Hello everyone and welcome to Kentucky Bird Reviews. I'm Squash. Special K. And tonight we are reviewing uh, yeah, a Terrapin High and Hazy IPA. Kiss the Sky. Uh, it's a beer company out of Athens, Georgia. I didn't know Terrapin was from Georgia. Um, this one I feel is... Like I knew that. Wait, why does it say Pinkerton on the back? Because he's hiding in the back of Rivet City. I guess. It's from Fallout. Uh, P Pinkerton's actually a Weezer album. Came okay. out in the 90s. That's, well, and it's probably something else too, but it's 5.8% alcohol by volume. Uh, it looks pretty good. I like the can. Got the orange tab. I like yeah, that too. pretty cool. Uh, we've had one other Terrapin beer on the show, maybe two. Um, I'm not sure if I was in it. I don't remember. I don't remember the name. Like the, I don't remember Terrapin. That doesn't beer. look as hazy as what we just did. No, the last one was looked like orange juice, and this looks like a Pilsner. It's pretty light looking. This 5.8%. There is some haze there, but it's not crazy. Yeah, it's it's like a cloudy Pilsner. Uh, carbonation's pretty heavy. Uh, heads off white. I think they put a Pilsner in this can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's nope, good. that's not a Pilsner. It smells pretty good. That smells delicious. It's very uh, vibrant in the nose. Mm -hmm. uh, very citrus forward. It'll wake you up. Lots of hops. Uh, it's, it's light, but it smells good. It's like a... What is it? Like a tangerine... Yeah, so any, yeah. any, like, citrusy, zesty fruit. Hmm. Ooh. That is... Ooh. It's as crushable as a Pilsner. But it's got all that And it's hazy. got the kick. Yeah, it's got the good... It gives you good flavor. It's not light. I knew when we looked at each other, that was a good beer. You're like, you know, mm -hmm. that's good. So, uh, you get a bright like juicy bite up front yep. and then you get a little bit of floralness and a tiny bit of hoppiness and then it finishes up just a tiny bit buttery and malty it's so yes. good it's crisp it's refreshing uh highly drinkable it's tastes like a four percent uh lager or something and i'm like betting that. it's like six it's 5.8 5.8 it's almost six yeah i was rounding it's good this is really good oh it's great like it's smashable yeah like, and smashable ipas are Really good to have her on the show when someone makes you a uh, shotgun uh, double. No, it was a triple, triple hazy nine percent. It wasn't a hazy, but it was uh, it was definitely it was triple. and it was a pint too. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> you it was... monster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, country boy. It was, fine. It was country boy, so it was worth it. That, but that was, that was worth it. It'll get you to where you need to be, right? It got me where I am. This beer is amazing. Um, it's really good. It's like okay, I'm. I've, like I said, I haven't heard of this, or if I have, I We've had requests it, for Terrapin but... beers before in the past. Uh, I've had this one for like maybe a month, month and a half. Uh, this is probably, it's probably out of production at this point because we're into the fall going into winter. Okay. Um, but, but that looks like a, a summer beer. What would you rate it? I'm going to give this, I'm going up to a nine. You think so? Dude, this is, yeah, it's, it's a light, crushable, great flavor. It's really good. Uh, nine and a half. Okay. I'm going there. Uh, I can't give it a ten because availability. Yeah. I'm taking the half point off for availability. That's it. And we probably, you know, we don't need to consider the price. It's going to be your average. No, I th I th it's an average. And it's worth it. It's worth ten the to, price. Ten to twelve bucks yeah. for a sixer. Um, availability is going to be an issue. They're pretty, uh, pretty wide available this side of the United States. Yeah. But, you know, if you live in that Cali side, you might have a harder time getting it. Uh, it's... Available in a lot of southern states, uh, I, and I've seen this all the way up to D.C., Washington, D.C., when I'm a, I remember seeing Terrapin beers there. Yeah. Um, it's such a good beer. It is. It's really good. Like I'm. It is as vibrant as that can. Groovy. It says groovy on it. It says pungent. It says it's got kiwi flavor in it. Maybe some of the citrus? They like to use words like nectar and kush on here for some reason because that's that's what all the all the cool kids are doing nowadays because they have and they have to have their terpene slang. infused beers they're, they're using their slang their they're, nutritional no, slang no the kush and terpene yeah and and high and hazy because for some reason weed has to have everything to do with beer because that's what people want to do as soon as you hear well especially ipas because the hops look like nuggets so i'm guessing that's where the connection is i have no idea i still weed beers are not no weed beers are terrible I don't understand why people put it. This is not a weed beer. It, it comes no. across as it could be, though. The way it's called high and hazy and all this. You you might expect it. And the way they're talking about 
fluffy and sticky and cush on the back. Like that. Well, every time we try a weed flavored anything on the show, it's always got that weird funk taste. Yeah. And they, you can tell they're trying to cover it up. Does not work at all. So yeah. this, this is nothing like. So that. yeah, if you're thinking this was a uh, hemp infused beer, it is not. No, it this is, is just a light, crushable IPA. Yeah. Great hazy. Uh, if you want to try a great hazy, you want a really drinkable beer. Yeah. You want to introduce some friends to craft beers. Um, you want to get. Starter. You want to get a beer that's going to appeal to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, this is a great choice. Um, again, it's craft. You're going to have to pay a little bit more for it, but it's. I think it's worth. It definitely worth. Worth. It. I'd pay sixteen dollars for this beer, but I, for a know. six pack. Yeah, I mean that'd be pushing it, but I'd pay it if it was this good. Maybe. Depends on what else is there in the store, but I know it's not anywhere near that price because yeah, it's, it's not. Five, it's so this heavy. this is worth keeping in the like in your fridge. This is worth having. Yeah, highly highly recommend this one. Uh, I'd like to check their brewery out. Like I said, I used to see their beers <laughs> a lot like five years ago, and then yeah. now it's occasionally here. I, like I said, I haven't really heard about uh, heard of it. The only thing I can I think of with Terrapin is like what it's like a music festival or whatever. It's a turtle. Terrapin's a turtle. Well, I guess that's where the music festival got the name. I just know nearby. There's a I can't remember where it's at, but yeah, I don't know. I don't remember the Terrapin Music Fest, but all right. Well, that has been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm special, okay? And I'm Squash. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.